Hey y'all, welcome to another WordPress Wednesday. My name is Corey Ashton and today's topic is all about local SEO. So if you're familiar with our channel, you know that every single Wednesday we're releasing some sort of video like this that's gonna help you with your online marketing. And we focus on the world of WordPress. So today I'm gonna give you seven tips to help you actually today go to your website and improve certain specific key elements that Google and Yahoo and Bing are looking for in order to help you outrank your competition. Seven specific things and stick around to the end of the video too because I'm gonna give you a link to a PDF file where you can actually download a full complete checklist of a lot of stuff that you can check off your website and be sure that those things, those key things are in place so that you are outranking your competition. So what's the very first thing you need to be doing in order to be sure that Google loves your website and to improve your ranking for search engine optimization? Believe it or not, the very first thing I'm gonna suggest to you is responsive design. So that when somebody comes to your website, on a cell phone, they're able to see everything clearly without any zooming options. Your menu is, is very clear for them to be able to open and close easily. Um, so responsive design is going to be an absolute must have when it comes to your local SEO. One of the easiest ways for you to check and see, obviously, is to just get on your phone and look up your website. And if you don't have to zoom in, then you're probably responsive. Another easy way is to actually do a uh, Google mobile friendly test. And I'll put the link to this in the description box below, or you can simply Google mobile friendly test and you'll be able to just come here and type in your web address and it will do a quick uh, analysis of your website and tell you whether or not you pass if your website is in fact mobile friendly or if it is not. So awesome, Webtegrities is mobile friendly. It'll give you a cool little screenshot of how it looks. So again, I'll put the link to that one in the description box below. That's number one. Ready for this? All right, number two, the next thing you need to be doing, and, and this is a huge one. This is one that you could go today and make a change and it could ultimately make a ranking difference today, right now, is your page title must include your city location. So if you have a store that people come to, or if you have a service that is location centric, meaning that if you are a roofing company and you only service you know, your city, you only, provide roofs to, to residential and commercial people in your city, then you are location driven. Your city location must be included with that key term that you're going after. So if you're a roofer and you're going after, let's say, roofing services or new roof, um, then you want to have your city right in front of it. So for ours, for instance, I'll show you this for Webtegrity, it's San Antonio Web Design, WordPress Web Design. That is our page title. That is our home page page title for Webtegrity's website. So what you wanna do is definitely have your key phrase in there. Ours is WordPress web design, but you also wanna have your city location. Even though our company is actually international, it doesn't matter if we could dominate San Antonio because we live in such a large city, that's gonna be good enough for us. And so really initially that's what we're focused on is location driven San Antonio. So how you do that is inside of your page titles. If you're not familiar with what that is and that's sounding a little foreign to you, be sure to check out a plugin called Yoast, Y-O-A-S-T. And I've done a whole series on that. I'll put the link to that playlist in the description box below. Check out that plugin. It's a free plugin inside of WordPress that will help you overwrite those page titles so that you're sure to be able to put in your key city. It's super important that they're inside your header tags and your page titles. You wanna sprinkle in your location down that page. So let's say that you have multiple locations. How do you do that? Another awesome thing that you do, and the third tip I wanna give you is a unique landing page, either per service that you have or per location, or perhaps even a combination of both. So let me explain that one briefly. Uh, obviously, if you have multiple services, what you should not do is a page that says services and just bullet point list each thing that you have. That doesn't give Google enough substance to kind of sink its teeth into and really want to present to people searching. What you wanna do is have a major landing page that talks about each and every service. So for ours, for instance, we would have a major service specifically for search engine optimization services. We would have a major landing page on our website specifically for WordPress web development. That's the way that works. If you have multiple locations, I'll show you an example here. We've got a company up in Canada um, that has multiple locations and what they do is on their contact page, 
they have listed out their different sales reps that rep different areas of a very vast territory that this company uh, sells window shades to. So let's say we want to connect with Nicole. Nicole has her own landing page. She's one of their sales reps. She has their, her own landing page that has unique content on it. Uh, they've got her picture on it with a little bit of her bio on it. They have a unique phone number on here specifically for this territory, specifically for Nicole. And they also have unique testimonies specifically to her and, and, and customers working with her. One of the reasons why this is super important is that you want a page on your website to have the page title for the specific location or city that you're working in, that you're servicing. But that cannot have duplicate content. In other words, you cannot make a template for all of your different cities and only go in and change just the city name or the phone number on each one. You have to have unique content on each and every one of your major landing pages. I hope that makes sense. If not, get back to me on that. We'll talk about it. Uh, the next thing I want to tell you about, obviously, is social media. Number four, you've got to be using social media. Hands down, if you're not using that, you're going to struggle with your local uh, outreach. So you, you want to be sure that you're active over on uh, Facebook for sure. And you want to be active inside of Instagram these days. It really depends on where your audience is. But social media is going to be a key, key tool in your local outreach. Google wants to see you doing it. Plus, your customers want to be able to click on your social media icons and see that you're active there and kind of interact with you first before they fully trust you. Uh, one of the key resources you can do, though, uh, to be sure that things are kind of correct across the board when it comes to social media is a tool called Moz Local. I'll put the link to this in the description box below. I'll show you how to use it really quickly. If I type in my name, Webtagrity, and I put in our zip code of our business, and I say, check my business listing, it's going to do a quick search to find me and see if I'm in their um, directory. I am, in fact, in their directory. So I'm going to click on that link. And it's going to, what it's doing right now is it's searching across the board for all these different social media networks and directory listings to see if I have a, a correct score inside of, of um, all these different social networks, all right? So check this out. Right now, I have an 88. So there's some things I could do to improve that. I can come here and see my incomplete uh, scores here, and it'll tell me, hey, over on Super Pages, you need to do this. Hey, over on Yellow Pages, you need to do this. It's pretty cool that it'll let me know even when I might have missed one completely that I didn't even know about, and I need to go add my listing on there. So check this out. Run your business through this, and it will help you uh, have that consistency across the board when it comes to your local listings. All right. Uh, the other thing you want to be doing as you're looking at these social media networks, of course, is reviews. So over here on Webtegrity, you see that we have 30 Google reviews. It is very important that you have your customers review your company, whether it's here on Google Plus or whether it's over on Yelp or whether it's on Bing. You want to have those reviews happening as, or even over on Facebook. That's great too. I know that's probably the easiest place for people to go and review your company. All right, here we go. Number six, um, we're going to look at actually going out into the community. This sounds pretty wild, I know, but if you're trying to reach your local community, one of the best things you can do is get out in the community. Here at Webtegrity, we teach free classes for WordPress with our WordPress meetup group. So we've got all sorts of classes going on monthly, and, and we're actually leaving our local business, our brick and mortar, going out into the community and giving back and reaching that local community. Of course, the whole time we've got our business cards with us and we're handing those out. We're networking and asking people to visit our website. All of that absolutely helps. The seventh thing I want to tell you about, number seven, is Google Analytics. If you are not tracking your Google Analytics right now today, you will never know if all of this stuff that you're doing is even working. Your phone might start to ring more, but you won't necessarily know where those leads are coming from. Google Analytics is a free option for you, and it will tell you that your social media is working. It'll tell you, hey, your Facebook brought in 300 leads this month, and Instagram only brought in four. Don't be using Instagram anymore, or reevaluate how you are using Instagram. It will help you be accountable to all the time you're spending writing blog posts, adding fresh content, putting in new pictures and new products. It's all going to be important for you to monitor and it's inside of Google Analytics. All right, here is the free PDF that I promised you. It is actually from Moz Local. 
It's a full checklist. I'm going to put the link to this in the description box below so you can go check it out. I really hope you do. It's super important that you just read through each one of these things step by step and figure out how to improve your website for local SEO. If you have questions further about this topic, because I know I went really quickly, please put them in the description box below and I will get to them as soon as I can. I will see y'all next WordPress Wednesday. Be sure to subscribe. Bye y'all.